Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex and I'm on a beautiful journey with you guys on discovering more about Violet Evergarden, her difficult past and present experiences she's going through, which must be really confusing, judging by the fact that she doesn't understand human emotions, she's been raised by the army, has no parents or relatives, and the only person that holds the biggest meaning in her world is Major Gilbert, who apparently saved her life, and to whom she sworn and dedicated her life. Now the Major Gilbert is gone. By the look of it, it might not come back. I feel like she's suffering PTSD trauma, which certain traumatic memories out of her memory. I feel like there is something about she forgot. Nevertheless, Lieutenant, gracious and kind man who took her into her company, found the accessory that she was missing, the beautiful brush that Major Gilbert gifted Violet. By the look of it, he spent all of his monthly pension on it. He either really feels sorry for Violet or really treasures her or is fulfilling a request of Major Gilbert who was his friend and he feels indebted to him. Those are all of my ideas. I don't expect anyone to answer these questions. I'd rather not read any spoilers. I'm just really curious about what's going to happen in the episode 3 that we are going to watch now. And after that, we'll have 10 more amazing episodes to watch. So for now, let's tune in. And as always, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thanks. It must be really warm in this town since they have uh, palm trees growing there. And Violet has a really beautiful costume now. Strict teacher. Which violet is capable of? I think. Oh my god, that is incredible. Well then this course must be perfect for Violet. Wow. She's extremely intelligent. <laughs> no, she has the highest score. Just what happened between them? <laughs> but I wonder what's the deal. I think she's going to take it too seriously. <sighs> that 
There is a lot for her to learn. Well, looks like Violet is already typing, so I'm a little bit worried. Oh dear. That's a report. And there is no feelings in the report. I'm sorry, Violet. She's so nice to her. Like everybody are so nice to her as soon as they see that you know she's got mechanical hands, she's been to army, uh, she served in army and she struggles with her emotions, probably has a PTSD. Like I'm not surprised people are so kind to her. After all, she is you know kind to everyone in a way. I wonder what she's feeling now that she's there looking at this beautiful city. Wow, and she has. This is a beautiful journey for her. She's learning a lot. Don't tell me he's going to lash on her. I'm sure she will. It's just going to take her more time. Oh my god, what a mess. I feel really sorry for this girl. Like, she's so kind hearted. And this man just. <sighs> she must be missing her parents. I wonder if they are still alive. War has taken so many lives. I feel bad for Violet, I really do, but there was really nothing she could have done. Looks like this girl is really burdened by her brother. She can't really move on because she's taking care of him. That's nice. She wants to, but she really can't. That is really kind of her, you know. I'm 
あの方に何を伝えたいのか自分でもわからないので私はまだあの方が言ってくださった言葉の意味さえも理解していないのですかどうしてドールになりたいか Everyone asks her this, right? Poor Violet is trying so hard, but she won't give up. Oh, that's dangerous. <gasps> oh no, she shouldn't have. Gosh, I'm really worried now. Kinda conveyed the Celeste feelings to her brother in a very simple way, and it worked. Don't tell me. Out and she even received the <gasps> Wow So happy for her She even improved her friend's life. She only wore what they gave her, right? 
I have been truly moved by this episode. Violet didn't give up despite not being able at first to receive the certificate, the brush. She sort of failed at first, but again, she didn't give up. And thanks to her kindness and also a luck for meeting Lucoya, a girl that she was assigned to train with, a girl that came back for her, tried to help her, and it just worked out in such an amazing way that Violet was able to convey Lucoya's difficult feelings she heard within herself. And she even received a brush afterwards for this. And it's honestly, it's really thanks to Lucoya for being there, for talking to the, to the teacher, showing her the letter and explaining the situation. I think all of these people are extremely kind because they can see that Violet must have had a really difficult upbringing she went through a lot of hardships she literally lost her both arms and hands that's a lot she's been through and yet she's trying so hard to fit within the current society adjust to her living adjust to her living in a normal world where there's no war like this anime teaches us so much about the war ptsd adjusting so soldiers adjusting to the normal life i've read some articles about it in the past and honestly i felt really moved i actually work with an ex-soldier who told me some really really gruesome stories and he has a proper ptsd still even after all of these years like nowadays he's able to function properly and normally because he has received a lot of mental support which violet evergarden didn't because by the look of it there was no special support for people who returned from war she was in a hospital left to recover attended by the doctors and nurses and that's it there wasn't special support aiming to help poor orphans and ex-soldiers to adjust to normal living even though this is a sci-fi world sci-fi slash fantasy world and they have like advanced hands the mental support system is it's not even broken it's just not there it makes you think what those people 100 years ago were going through and it makes you really appreciate that we are living in 21st century with access to all of this mental well-being and i know it's not great it's one of the reasons why i myself um withheld in from reaching out for help because i know that i will have to wait months and i feel like no one would really truly understand me and what i'm going through um but i'm hoping to but youtube really helps me youtube really really helps me i've got something i can truly focus on forget about the world be happy convey my feelings to people feel the feelings this beautiful anime is making me feel so much and make me realize a lot of feelings because i see what's happening on the screen i feel the emotions in my heart and i'm able to react to it which i do struggle in a normal life i feel like i'm a an empty doll sometimes it's strange because i've just came back from rome and i have seen some really beautiful buildings and and, and scenery and views but because we're kind of russian or maybe because I am broken. I didn't feel many emotions when I was looking at those things. Mostly, I was mostly astounded by the massive buildings like Colosseum, etc, etc. But when I look at those beautiful characters in anime, the costume designs, the views in there, that makes me feel much more than what I experience in real life. How is that normal? How does that make sense? I don't know. I think there's, there's something definitely wrong with me. Uh, and one day I will have enough funds to invest in a therapy, but not yet. I am also on a self-discovery journey now, and I think I'm heading in the right direction. But because I've strayed of the topic, I'm going to finish now. Thank you so much for watching this episode with me. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye!